All right, away we go, my friends. Outside, the prairie winds are swift, to say the least. Everything is kind of rattling and shaking around, uh, but no big deal. I have a new package. You guys have already seen the thumbnail. You've already seen the title. You know why we're here today, but a little bit of backstory for those that may be just to, uh, tuning in to RC Adventures for the first time. Years ago, I lost my DJI Phantom Vision 2, which is a quadcopter, uh, when I was flying it across a 34 foot deep pond outside the back of my, our, our acreage. And so I was flying along, lost signal and underwater. I never saw it again. And I had the Kwaisi Phi Fish, which is a remote operated vehicle that goes underwater. I had to learn how to pilot a submarine from the surface, watching on a video screen, and remote operate this vehicle over the last two years. Finally, in a previous episode, I found the sucker. And I was so happy. And in the end of the video, I asked the question, how am I going to retrieve it? And there were so many comments. Thank you. Everything was considered, but I must admit I was being a little sneaky. See, I already knew that Kwaisi was coming out with a robotic arm and claw. They had been working on this for quite some time. And now that I had actually found the drone, which I couldn't believe was a perfect opportunity, but I'd found it about one month too early. So I had to stall a little bit. But it is finally here, and although it is too windy today, we can look at what's inside, inside the box. Let's go. Look at this giant case on the center of my table, my friends. Here is a normal size of paper, okay? This is how big that suitcase is. It is enormous. This is a, uh, the plastic carrying case for the Kwaisi Phi Fish that I have been so fortunate enough to be sent uh, by Kwaisi. Thank you very much to Ziong and all my friends uh, down there that are the engineers uh, and, and uh, the, the whole company behind this concept has been fantastic to work with. Although, you know, watching a company go and uh, make their software make their product available and then like sell it everywhere for people that actually go to the ocean and use it. Here I am just a prairie man in the middle of Alberta with a backyard pond. Who am I really? But check this out. It does say, look at this. There's five fish right there. In case you guys want to do a QR read, the underwater robot. I remember when I first unboxed it, this, is the upgrade. Uh, what? What are you looking at? I know some of you see it right away, but this is an all new V6 Phi Fish, the V6S. Look at that. This has the prop protectors on it which I always struggled with because the weeds would get, sorry, my door is banging from the windstorm outside. The weeds always get caught for me in the props. And you know what? Because those fin, uh, fans are spinning so quick to try to self-level this machine because it, it's, it's fully smart. Like this machine is one of the coolest things to fly or sail through the water underneath the water. I've, I've ever used like it's a 4k camera on the front self leveling there are multiple modes sport mode you know attitude like everything about this you guys have seen me gush about it before but like what I'm seeing right now you and you and I are basically discovering for the first time looks like a little bit of that styrofoam from the case came off not a big deal in transport look at the protectors I don't ever have to worry about damaged props again, which wasn't like a big deal. I only had to replace a few of them here and there, but this is new on the bottom. This must be the mount for the claw. I'm not sure. Unbelievable. So this, yes, brand new. That's a communications port. Okay, that makes way more sense. So now I've got two of these suckers where I don't have two with the claw, but now anybody visiting or whatever that wants to go diving with me can go diving. Thank you so much, Kaizi. That's amazing. Here is a new, um, this is actually the, I probably need two hands for this. This is the tether, the cable. 
There we go. That's the communications cable. Because what's really going on here, let me put this off to the side. This cable end, for those that don't understand, goes on the back of the ROV. It gets popped in back here. This is a communications port that communicates up to the surface because you can take this down like 100 meters, I think it is, almost 100 meters. That's a long way. So it communicates all the way up to here, up through into this port, into this radio. This radio connects or, or makes a Wi-Fi signal that communicates with your phone. So it, it communicates with your phone back and forth via Wi-Fi. So you're getting picture, you're getting everything you want. This actually has a huge hard drive in it which records everything. And everything, all the attitude mode, everything can be controlled through here. Look at this. Good to go. They even have like um, first person view goggles that you can put your phone in. I find with like anything like an iPhone 11 Max that I have, the size is too big to fit in here. Um, but anything smaller, it totally works. It's too bad, but I think, I think that's just because technology keeps getting bigger. At one time, phones were getting smaller. Now they're all gargantuan. And look at this. This is, this is it. This is what we've been all been waiting for. Wow. It looks like it's 3D printed, I believe. It's a plastic claw, which is good because you don't want anything super heavy um, underneath the Phi Fish, right? You want to have it. Look, I'm, just, I'm just stunned by the Zoidberg like claw that's on it. It's like a lobster claw or a crab claw. And from what I've seen, the control on this is fantastic. I'm going to need more practice. First, I'm going to have to relocate that drone. But I put a marker on the side of the pond where I, I just go straight out and I should be able to find it. Wow. So nice and light, like I was saying, because you don't want to have too much heaviness or else you always be fighting to level yourself out. But from what I've seen... This thing can grab from the smallest objects with the lightest grip to heavier objects that are quite heavy and pull with strength. This is just unbelievable. Okay, so I started up the app on my phone. I'm just going to start up the controller, which will automatically start up the Phi Fish. Now, really, it doesn't like to be outside of the water. It certainly likes to be inside, but I'm hoping to get a small demo of it. Does it ever look cool, hey? It looks like a futuristic submarine that has some sort of grabber claw and camera on the front. Because it is. That's exactly what it is. Woo! There's the light. She came on. So I'm going to go into my settings here. Just go ahead and hook up to the Wi-Fi. Five fish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Now I can do that right on the radio here. Looks like we are connected. Go dive. Hey, hey. There I am. There I am. Look at that. So that's actually being shot through the front of the Phi Fish right now. So this is going to give you kind of an idea of what the Phi Fish will look like as it's swimming under the water. It's just generally going to be showing the claw right underneath the camera, which is perfect because as an operator, I can clearly see what I'm going to be grabbing after. So super cool right away. Super cool feature. Now, for what we all came here to see, really, was this claw in action, and how is it going to work? <sighs> Look at this. See this dial right here? When you move the dial open, like up and down. Oh, look at that. Listen. Like precision. Wow, guys, that is farking cool, hey? Just unbelievable. You guys, I hope you have made some noise in the comments section down below by smashing the like button. You know darn well we're always here working, trying to figure out new ways to entertain you and to, to bring new and exciting 
radio control or remote operated vehicles to your screen for you to discover. Now you guys have a general idea. Now you guys know what I'm going for trying to grab my drone uh, from the pond and maybe past that. Shall we start going on different dives to see what's down there with the five fish? I want you to start making me some suggestions down below and I also want to know who the hell is excited for me to go out there and finally get that drone. Guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. Uh, check out Kwesi and the Five Fish V6S with their incredible claw. I gotta get some practice in. We'll see you in the next episode of RC Adventures. Bye! So cool. Oh, amazing. It's like a paradox. I'm like... The camera is looking into the camera, into the camera. <laughs> nom, nom, nom.